What's happening, everybody? A little something different to show you guys. Um, been playing around with something that I have uh, never done before. Uh, I'm a pedal enthusiast, as you might know, um, just as far as I like buying pedals, playing with pedals. They don't cost a lot of money. You can get a totally different sound out of your rig, and if it doesn't work out for you, move them down the road pretty easily. Not a big investment. Well, um, my brother had a really cool uh, old vintage TS-10 tube screamer, and um, even though it just sounds like every other tube screamer, it was worth quite a bit of money. So he decided to part with it, and he was just going to replace it with a newer one or a clone or something like that, because a tube screamer is kind of a tube screamer. And I decided it would be fun to build him one, uh, just because it was something I was interested in trying. So I got a Stumac kit, and I built him this. This is the Green Bastard. It's a uh, supposed to be a clone of an 808, basically. Um, I bought the unpainted enclosure, made a little joke out of it, because we both enjoy the show Trailer Park Boys. So we thought it'd be funny to make it the Green Bastard, like Bubbles Wrestling Persona. And uh, anyway, it's already getting a little beat up and being stomped on and stuff. I'm not a professional painter, but it was a fun little project to do. And lo and behold, I put it together, and it's one of the coolest best sounding tube screamers I've ever heard and uh, you know I'm not trying to take credit for that I think it's it's a really good kit that's what I'm saying basically is if you're handy with a soldering iron and you want to try a fun little project this will take you half a day maybe less if you're better at it than me I made some mistakes I had some stuff that I had to do more than once it was uh you know wasn't the easiest thing I've ever done but it was cool and I'm really glad I did it and it gave me an idea that I wanted to make one for myself for my base rig um, and because um, it does sound good with bass, but it does shelve off some low end. So I did some research about how to mod uh, tube screamers for bass. Went down a rabbit hole and found all kinds of interesting information. But uh, I decided not to get too elaborate with it. And I'm not going to tell you exactly what I did differently with it. But this one I built for myself. This is the brown trout brace driver. As you can see, I painted it like my favorite species of fish to chase after. And I uh, almost hate to put Velcro on the back of this thing. It's really pretty. But um, the mods I made did add a little bit of bottom end, or I should say it doesn't take away as much bottom end as the, uh, as the standard kit. And um, I'll plug it in for you guys and let you hear it. I'm going to put some Velcro on the back and stick it to my board because I'm pretty confident it's going to stay, at least for the time being. It's probably better as a guitar pedal than as a bass pedal, but I'm not crazy about all the blended bass distortions where you have the clean and the distortion together. I wanted a, a gain pedal where I'm just running through it and I'm just going to try to keep the gain kind of low and run it like a, you know, like an overdrive, not, not a bass distortion. Usually when you see bass overdrive, you actually, you're buying a distortion pedal. So I wanted something to give me an actual closer to a tube overdrive kind of sound. And the funny thing is when I first put it together, I did, I've had it together and apart a bunch of times and I experimented with it a bit. And the first iteration of it didn't have almost any gain, but it sounded big and fat and thick and tuby and warm, and it sounded great. And then I messed with a bunch of stuff, and I went back to the same things, and something must have been wrong with it at that point, because now it's really gainy. But it sounds great. I really like it. So I'm going to cut away here for a second, uh, employ my heist, my, uh, my awesome production skills, and do a really crazy cool edit, and in a second, you'll get to hear it. All right, we're back. We're plugged in. Uh, let's give you a little bass line um, of the clean tone I'm running right now. Yeah, that sounds beautiful. Here's with the brown trout bass driver. shreddy distortion. Here's my other, my blended distortion. Right now I'm running at about 1 o'clock, 
1230-ish. I got the tone back almost all the way off. And I have all kinds of volume. I can give it a huge boost if I want. Here's a little more gain. It's just all dirty, but it's not lacking in bottom end, really. It's it's going to punch really nice in a mix. Um, and I can add a little more bottom end with my DI here if I want, but I don't like my bass to get too woofy. I'm really interested to see what it sounds like at my band practice because we do everything with in-ear monitors, and I want to see what it's doing coming in right into a board. So it'll be really interesting to see. Here's something I haven't tried either. I'm going to try hitting the wah with it because it's after my wah. A lot of times I like a distortion before my wah. But, uh... That's a Stumac, uh, what do they call it? Um, Stumac Screamer pedal kit. It's a tube screamer essentially. And um, maybe someday I'll talk about specifically what I changed out, but it's not a huge, it wasn't a huge thing. Um, so the capacitor, and I happen to have changed out the op amp too, and I don't think it makes a heck of a lot of difference at all. But um, that's a conversation for another day. So. One of these days here soon, I'm going to show my whole pedal board now because I think it's pretty much done for a while. I'm, I've, I've done more than enough uh, change in that lately. And um, so we'll go over that and I'll talk about how I get the tones I like to use. But I'm a gain pedal fanatic. I would love to just have a whole pedal board of distortions and it's fun for me. But it's really hard to find a cool bass distortion. So this is a pretty cool one, I think, and it's homemade. So I like homemade. I do everything homemade if I can. So anyway, thanks for watching, and um, let me know if you guys like the pedal stuff, and I'll uh, maybe I'll build another one because I like painting them. So maybe I should build a delay or a chorus or a reverb. I could use a reverb, right? I don't have any reverb. I do have delay though. But... Thanks for hanging out with me. We're, uh, see you again.